So therefore, let's get started with that. And for that, I switched to my models py file here because I want to add another model in here. I will add a brand new class and that will be an author model because I want to now add a separate model for authors so that they also have their own table in the database. And we don't need to enter models as text characters here where we have the potential of mistyping or where we might mean different authors when they have the same name. That could happen as well. But where instead we now really have a standalone table where we save different authors with unique IDs and where we then therefore can easily map books to authors. Therefore, this class should also extend the model class as you learned it earlier in the course. And then here we want to set up the fields for our author. And there, for example, we could add a first name field and make that a char field to expect some text there with a max length of, let's say, 100. And then we could have a last name here with a, a char field, of course, which also has a max length of 100. And that could be our base author model. Of course, we could add more, but that's my base model I want to set up here. Now I want to connect this book model to this author model. And to do that, we need to add a so-called foreign key field. So we can go to the book model where we have an order and replace models.char field with a different kind of field, and that's models.foreign key. That's a special field which tells Django that the value inserted here is actually a pointer at an entry in the table for the authors or for whichever model you're pointing at. So instead of directly inserting the author data here in that field in the book model, we point at another database entry in another table. And Django will set up that pointer to be stored in the database and manage that connection for us behind the scenes, just as it managed all other SQL queries for us behind the scenes. We just need to let Django know which model should be the model at which we want to point here. And here we want to connect our book to an author. So here we enter author as the model name for which we want to set up a relation. So that for an author, we actually store a pointer to an author entry in the author table. That's what we're setting up here. Now, we don't just need to add a pointer at that model, at that related model. We also need to add a on delete parameter here, the named on delete parameter. Why should we add that? Because as soon as we have a relation, there is the question what should happen with those related models if one of them gets deleted. So, if we delete an author, what should happen to the book then? That's what you can now control here with setting on delete. You reach out to models, so to this models import, and then there you got various options. For example, cascade, which is a very popular one. Cascade simply tells Django and ultimately SQL that if an author should be deleted, any related books should also be deleted. So that this delete operation should cascade, it should affect all related models. You also, for example, have protect, which avoids that related models can be deleted if there are related data entries. You can also use set null. In that case, the author field would be set to null if the related author is deleted. But I'll go with cascade here. And now we set up a relation between book and author. Now with that, we need to save all those changes and then create and run new migrations. Because we added a brand new model for which a database table should be created and we updated an existing model, we changed the author field. Hence, we want to run Python 3 manage py make migrations. And now we're getting a warning here. We're getting a warning that we're basically changing the author field and we're changing it to be non-nullable without a default. 
It's complaining about that because the old author database column basically has to be thrown away and replaced with the new one because the old author column had string entries, it had text values, it had the author names, and now we are replacing this with a brand new column which will hold pointers at other data entries in other tables. To be precise, we'll store the IDs of those other data entries in the author field. So that's why I'm asking what it should do here. And I'll again do the last option here and stop making those migrations to go back to the author field. And here, I basically then just want to add null and set that to true. Which means that you can have this null special value in the database if no other value is provided for this field. And that is okay here. It is okay if a book has no author. We could also have books where we don't know the author. So after changing this, I'll repeat make migrations and now this succeeded and with that we can now also run migrate again to reach out to the database and perform the migration. Now we face a new problem though. Running those migrations failed and it failed with a row and table book outlet book so in our book table with primary key 2 has an invalid foreign key. It contains a value of JRR Tolkien, which is not a valid foreign key. That's this swapping of the author field, which I referred to a couple of seconds ago. That's this swapping causing problems here. We already had a author field, and now that author field is getting replaced with a new one. Now with null set to true, we ensure that Django would be able to handle the case that it doesn't know what to insert into the author field. But now as a next step during the migration, it encounters that there already are values in the author field. And whilst it wants to change the author field to a new type, to a foreign key instead of a text, it now doesn't know what to do with those existing values. And it wants to treat them as a foreign key, but of course they are not valid pointers at offers existing in the offers table. We haven't added any offers at all and even if we would add offers, they wouldn't have those string name identifiers which we previously used as values in the offer field. So how should we deal with that? Well, typically, again, you would design your models ahead of time and not start adding data with some model definition just to later find out that you need to change your models. That's why careful planning ahead is important. But of course here we couldn't plan ahead too much since we're slowly building up knowledge. So what I'll do here is simple though. I will quickly dive into my shell environment here and from book outlet.models I'll import the book to then get access to all books and call delete on them to clear all the existing book data. So to clear my database. And with that, we'll not have any old records lying around in the database causing problems. Then we can quit that shell and repeat the migrate command and now it succeeds. Now with that succeeded, we successfully did write our schema changes to the database. And now we can therefore start working with that.